So today I'm going to be telling you um, how to prepare your body for a long tattoo session. Play the intro. So basically I'm going to go over some tips um, on uh, being a tattoo artist on how you can prepare your body for um, a long tattoo session. So what I would do is you want to you want to make sure first and foremost you want to make sure that you have um, a really good couple of days sleep before um, including the the night before your tattoo session. So I would recommend nine to ten hours sleep um, if your body is at its like maximum efficiency uh, by sleeping then um, it's so much better uh, for your body to handle the pain and it can go for longer periods of time as well um, that I found anyway. So get a really good meal on the day of your tattoo session um, one to two hours before your tattoo session that will prepare your body for um, shock basically. While you're getting the tattoo I would um, I would try and refrain from like caffeine you want to try and Get your body as relaxed as possible. Steer clear of like caffeine, stuff that's gonna make your body like jittery and stuff, like um, heightened, if you like. I would try and stick to really good sugars, like fruit. Um, I would sh I, I would drink sugary drinks like Oasis or um, maybe like a milkshake or something, or something that hasn't got caffeine in. So um, that's that's what I would do. I, I would also grab like a sandwich or something um, for like the breaks on your tattoo session day. Um, so when you stop like halfway through, like when you get back into the tattoo after you've had like a break, it hurts again. It like It's like your body's like relaxed. Because when you get the tattoo, the first 10 to 15 minutes can be really painful. And then your body kind of just like gets used to it and then sends the appropriate sort of messages to the area that's being tattooed and can um, it can sort of feel like it numbs it a bit and then after a while um, when your body's got used to that pain it sort of starts to creep up the pain again um, and it's exactly the same when you stop when you stop for a break um, after you know having two three hours on uh, your tattoo it can start to really hurt as if it was like the first time like the first 10 to 15 minutes but it can be longer if, if you're fatigued and your body isn't isn't right so what I would do is grab a sandwich grab some food grab some sugary drinks without caffeine um, some fruit lots of fruit make sure it's all natural sugars going obviously it's better for your body as well than chocolate bars and stuff um, and chocolate bars give only a short burst if you was to have like a banana or something like that like it will it will um, or like fruit it will burn it over a longer period of time so it's not just going to be a quick fix and then your body's like going down again so I've I found that in um, my clients I found that if they they're like eating like jelly babies or something or like gummy sweets even though they're loads of sugar it's like really quick bursts of sugar um, and then as soon as you stop for 20 minutes your body starts to like crash and that's when you can feel really like dizzy and like pass out so what I would do simplifying it I would do uh, one the the number one point um, is to get loads of sleep um, get a really 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 good night's sleep before first and foremost that's the most important thing second most important thing is to have a really 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 good meal um, for breakfast or two two hours before your tattoo session whatever time it is and three i would try and relax your body as much as you can you know uh, i know it sounds stupid but like um take deep breaths like deep breathe um me meditate you know like if you was to practice your breathing it, your body can literally handle through like a lot more pain and it can go through a lot more stuff that that it, no it normally can't do um regulating your breathing like like throughout the whole session, you're sweet, you know what I mean? Obviously it's still gonna hurt, but if your mind's focusing on your breathing, then it's gonna take it off of the pain, if you know what I mean? Also like chatting, like I don't mind talking to my clients and stuff, like if you're super nervous, you wanna chat, like talk, you know, talk, make conversation, that can always take your mind away from it as well. And so that's the third point. So the fourth point is, um, yeah, so when you stop, make sure you bring 
some food with you and some water. When you're getting the tattoo, make sure you drink so much water. It doesn't matter if you have to stop to pee all the time. It doesn't matter. Um, it's like you need to keep your body hydrated. That's like one of the most important things as well. Um, so yeah, so uh, so after all that, I mean, you should you should be going for at, for at least four or five hours, you know. And don't be scared to to ask for a break. Don't be scared to stop. I always tell my clients before um, we get started. I always say, look, if you want to stop, give me a shout. It's no biggie. It's about you guys. Like my tattooing day is about you. It's not about me. It's about you. It's about you getting the most uh, comfortable experience of your life. So. And if I can if I can help with that, then that's perfect, you know. So I would refrain from caffeine and stuff like that, and just try and keep your body as nice and relaxed as possible. And you should be good if you follow those tips, and you know, get a good night's sleep before um, at least nine, ten hours. Uh, keep your body really, really, really hydrated. No matter if you're peeing all morning, it doesn't matter. That'll be the best the best advice I could give you anyway. So hopefully that helps guys. Um, if you've got any questions, any queries, make sure you drop a comment in the comment section. And yeah, I'm here to answer any questions and I'll see you in the next video guys. Take it easy, peace.